how are you? you? Good, how are you? I'm great. Looks like we got off on the right foot. How's yeah, everything? Sure. Uh, awesome, awesome. Everything's, can't complain. Tell me happy. everything that's going on in your world right now. Why so happy? Um, uh, I have a song with uh, Sam Smith, and it's doing really, really well, and it's been number one, like, globally for 18 days, and... Mm -hmm. Uh, I've been doing this for like a long time, you know, and just uh, kind of built my fan base and love my career. But it's, you know, also it's it's like just like a change in my life to have a song that big. So it's exciting. I'm grateful for Sam and uh, excited for my new music that I'm dropping. I mean, mm -hmm. I'm finally at the point where I'm like dropping my debut album i guess like my first major label album even mm -hmm. though i do have so much music out um uh yeah so it's just an exciting time that just you know everything's kind of new and fresh and cool that has to feel good though as an yeah. artist to know that something that you put your stamp on that you worked on is doing so well right now yeah. how does that feel amazing i mean it's uh, sam and i have been talking about doing a song together for years at this point and mm -hmm. it just never was like the right thing you know right. um we just always want to, you know, to make like a, a pop song. And uh, I, you know, I feel like we both really added a lot to the song. And it was, it's cool to see that we just needed to wait for the right song to come along. And it did. And uh, we both loved it, you know, and we're like obsessed with it. And it wasn't like a song that many people were like, you know, this is an absolute hit. Like, I, I don't I, I don't think um before it dropped and before it did all of that stuff you know but Sam was very like this is the, like this is the one like I know it so Sam kind of gave me and you know like I was really impressed like well you're uh you really believe in this one and so do I and yeah it's just, it's just awesome when people when it works and people actually like it and it feels like magic and um you can't really measure that stuff you know if Mm -hmm. people are going to connect to it like no matter how much you try to like learn like the pop formula and learn about songwriting and at the end of the day i feel like it's still kind of like a you know freak accident to just capturing magic in a bottle yeah genie in a bottle mm. so were people trying to play a hate on a song because the song i feel <laughs> like let me tell you song first listen is fire i don't know mm. when it first comes on you can just feel it can, you know what i'm yes. saying yeah i don't understand how people <laughs> can't recognize how great that song sounds. And I'm telling, and I'm being 100% straight up honest with you. Yeah, but people, I think, in the music industry just aren't ever excited about anything. You know, it's like, oh, yeah, that's great. Oh, awesome. You know, and it's like, as, as, a, as an artist, like, I'm like, listen to the song, and I'm just so stoked, like, whenever I do something that I'm, I truly believe in. But I feel like everyone's just always low-key until the, the fans get it, and then, you know, but also if you say something's awesome, then now that means you need to support it. And, like, you know, if you're, like, really excited about it, then you know, like, need to, like... You know, so. you know what's interesting? I feel like <laughs> if you can't get excited, I, and I realize that you can't get excited about every single song, right? Like, Because yeah. every single song won't sound like Unholy. No. But I'm saying, though, if that one song doesn't get you excited and it doesn't get you to cha champion it and rally behind it, I think it's yeah. almost time for you to get out the business because you're almost a little... <laughs> yeah. and, and I'm being serious. It's almost like you're low-key being a little jaded when you can't... Yeah focus and see you know that this song is good and let's totally. rally behind this song and i mean thank god like the, the important people all thought the song was amazing yes. you know so oh. it's like I, the support that it's getting from like radio and from the entire kind of music industry and the people that are like, kind of like hitting me up and mm -hmm. being like congratulating me like it's really cool and it's really cool people whose like taste i think is great you know and just yeah it's been cool you know what I love? Your uh, connection with the fans and how passionate that your fans are about you. How does that feel as an artist to have your fans just right, rally behind you at all times? Yeah, I mean, that's really like, I mean, that's the reason that I got to Unholy, honestly, because like I've been doing this since, uh, you know, for years and years and years, my whole life, honestly. Like, mm -hmm. used to be a songwriter first and, a, you know, like wrote jingles in Germany, like came here, wrote for artists, uh, made my own independent music, released it, started like in clubs with like 10 people that would see me to then going to like 10,000. And, you know, just kind of, uh, it's been such a long ride that I just like wouldn't, you know, like I'm just like so happy because I just felt like such a like weirdo in my, in my room as a kid, you know, making music and like no one's going to like, understand what what i'm trying to make and like my family doesn't listen to pop you know like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh you know and i was just always like really into it and studying it and like that was like 
I hate at school and would like go home and just write. And so I needed my fans to get to this moment. And I needed my fans this entire time. And my fans have like proven to me again and again and again that like they, you know, are just like me and that they're here for me. And, you know, I've made really important friendships and really like connections for life. And mm -hmm. like that for me, even without a hit, like has always been has made me feel successful has made me feel like i have a career and something to say is that there's people who just get it you know and uh those will be there forever even like you know i always say this like 80 with a cane cigarette vegas like yeah crazy yeah, job yeah, lady yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, let's like, go <laughs> lipstick on your teeth <laughs> yeah crooked wig yeah <laughs> they'll be there supporting yes. you and they will be there you know and i know and that's just really puts me at ease and right. makes me feel like a great success so everything else is just like you know icing, icing on a cake icing on the cake so you were saying that your family didn't necessarily listen to pop music mm -mm. did that make you feel away though like did you almost feel like maybe i should do something else or were you 100 percent gung-ho in making pop music <laughs> yeah 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 it was pretty you were was pretty die hard yeah i mean it was like <laughs> um uh, my older sister like my oldest sister's super into heavy metal my mom's into jazz my dad's really into like free jazz mm -hmm. um my other sister was really like emo as everyone was and i was like blasting like the potential breakup song in my room you know mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> or, or like the, the hannah montana soundtrack and look where it led me you know <laughs> you, well, you know yeah. what's interesting i feel like sometimes where you're around like a musical family that like listens to other music that what you listen to they almost have a tendency to like look down on it yeah for sure did they do that to oh, you absolutely oh, yeah they were always snobs. like that. <laughs> but like that's what made it feel cool like right, that's why i right. felt like a rebel making pop music because i was like my parents are gonna hate this you know, like they're not gonna get it. Sorry, my gum just almost fell out. It's all good. Uh, get that chill in. What is it, minty? Oh, uh, it's minty. Mm. No, uh, mm, so minty. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> um uh, yeah, but that's what made it feel like cool to me. You know, I was like kind of being like you're just being bad. you, yeah. No, I was just being me, but. You know, as a teenager, you always want to, like, piss off your sisters yes. and your parents. Yes. So I just needed to do that, and pop was that for me, and that's why, you know, I'm a diehard for pop, always. So looking back, how how does your parents, your siblings, like, how do they feel right now? Awesome. Yeah, they they're just so happy for me. Right. Yeah, totally. They've, they've all, like, texted me and just been really happy and, like, just like... Thank God, you know, it led somewhere. Like, yeah. cool. <laughs> look dark for a second, you know. It's a little and, bleak. Yeah. <laughs> Do you You're relieved. You're relieved, I, I would assume so. Maybe she's just crazy, you know. Maybe it's just, it's just a phase. <laughs> yep. Do you ever look back and think to yourself, like, especially right now, like, when you lay down before you go to bed, mm -hmm. you know how you have those most random thoughts, right? Do you ever look back and think to yourself, like, man, like, look how far I've made it. And are you proud of yourself? Yes, I'm super proud of myself um, for just, you know, I, I feel like I just really always put music first and was, like, first of all, just, like, a fan of music and really like learned writing and took it very seriously and just like always on this like um path of I want to be one of the greatest songwriters ever which sounds insane and you can't really tell anyone because it sounds nuts and like but 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 yeah that's always been like my goal and just to kind of um especially you know not right now it just feels like wow I really never thought it would happen like this hard because I already like I felt successful for the last few years and mm -hmm. my tour is at 10k you know like awesome like I can like play like Radio City Hall you know like mm -hmm. I can I'm good mm -hmm. uh but this is just like kind of like wow okay so I you know it was okay to even like be dream bigger than that and like that's kind of awesome to learn yeah isn't that crazy when yeah. you like sit back and you like reflect and I almost I feel like reflection is uh is great because you really appreciate where you're going and where you came from when you, when yes. you reflect. But when you sit back and you reflect and you think about all of the things that you wanted to do and then you look at your situation now and you realize how much bigger that dream really yes. was. Yes. Like that has to make you feel good. It does. Yeah, it, it does. No, it's like one of the most magical things to happen and it's not guaranteed that that happens and it takes a lot of hard work for that to happen. Right. And uh, yeah, so... Yeah, it just feels like I've just been like, you know, got just got lucky. Like, 
but I, I really didn't because I really worked for it really hard. You, you know, you but, worked hard work. Hard but work. still, like you still gotta, you know, timing is everything, mm-hmm. and you can't push it, you can't control it. And I have tried, and like I've been like dropping songs like for years, like going nonstop and working, 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 and it's kind of the moment that you like sit back and you're like, yeah, I like this. It's that's freestyle is whatever. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. <laughs> that it, like happens. It's nice. Yeah. But you know what's interesting? I want people to be clear that you are not a new artist. You've been doing this for a minute. You know what I'm saying? Like, people may just be exposed to you right now, but you've been putting in your work and doing everything that you need to do to get you here to this moment. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I'm I'm from, like, middle of nowhere Germany. Like, I, like, moved here years ago and, like, just built my career independently and uh, always, yeah, I don't know, feels like a little fairy tale vibe. But it's cool. Uh, and But yeah, no, it's it's also just been, yeah, just building my foundation the way that I did. I love, like, the people that come out to my shows. And um, now it's like when people, you know, find me, they find this entire catalog of, yes. of things that I've been doing like, mm-hmm. that I still feel, like, hold up. You know, mm-hmm. it's kind of like, it's a good feeling, you know, especially this year. A lot of people are like, wow, discovering Turn Off the Light for the first time and like, oh, she did a Halloween album years ago and like, yeah, I was one of the first to do it. And like, <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. Um, <laughs> it's, you know, really rewarding to have like new people discover stuff I did four years ago mm-hmm. and be like, this is so good. Oh my God. I don't, how did I not, how did I, sorry. How did I not know? You know what's interesting? I was having a conversation with someone and they were like, uh, what is it? Music, uh, people don't find your music, your music finds people. Mm. And it's almost like true, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. When you go and do your deep dive and people find a song that connects to them and, you know, just relate to that song, if that makes sense. Yeah, no, that's, I mean, that's what it's all about at the end of the day. Right. You know, even if it's just, uh, like, I always just like, I random songs like really relate to me and like not always hits like mm-hmm. a lot of time really deep cuts right that, right that really resonate with me so um uh, yeah i love when people tell me that stuff too i i always make sure i like reach out especially if it's like a uh, smaller newer artist where a song just like really touches me like i'm always like that's what it's all about like, right nothing else really matters I want to talk about if Jesus was a rock star. Yes. Can, first of all, that name is so dope. <laughs> Can we talk about that? Yeah. Let's Tell talk me about all it. about it. Yeah. Um. So, I mean, it's kind of a song about finding spirituality, and uh, that's pretty deep. But I just uh, uh, have kind of, you know, as like LGBTQ being transgender, mm-hmm. I've had a hard time fitting into a, any religion, you know, and I feel like I've spent my life like looking for spirituality and for like. Uh, you know, to belong to something like that. And, you know, it's just kind of a, I wish I was included in, you know, and I wish, you know, I wish that that everyone could be included in religion and in, you know, everything in the world. So it's kind of like, it's a choose your own adventure type of song. It's Mm -hmm. definitely, it can mean whatever you want it to mean to you. Uh, That's what it means to me. And it's just a really special song. And I, I, I don't know, like, I feel like the pandemic really, I don't know, made everyone kind of crazy and think about, like, the point of life. Yes. And, uh, so, uh, yeah, this is my, like, my point of life song. <laughs> it's funny. I think the, <laughs> the pandemic definitely made everybody crazy. It also mm. it also did one or two things. It made you super creative or yes. it made you shut down and not mm. made you do anything. What, which one did it make you do? Uh, creative. But, did it really? But also, like, it was a back and forth. Like, there were definitely days where it would just be, like, dark as hell and just like could not write about anything and then other days where I would just you know kind of you know just call my friends and try to make something because the only thing I could can kind of do to make myself like happy but yeah it was it was weird it was definitely um yeah a moment for everyone to figure out and I think I've honestly like I've made better music once it was over I think Mm -hmm. but I kind of just did music to just do it you know, during a pandemic. I was just yeah. to, like, get it out. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, just for, like, my not feeling completely useless because I'm such a person who just always needs to be doing something. You know, uh, I love working. I, I love um, my career. I love touring. I love people. So, yeah, hated when that happened. For your own sanity, you had to get it out. Yeah. What are you working on next? Mm, um, 
I just came from Sweden, finishing songs in Sweden. Nice. Which is amazing. You know, there's so many, like, great songs happening in Stockholm and mm -hmm. all of those, like, kind of OG pop people. So uh, it's my first Max Martin song, uh, Jesus Was a Rockstar. Uh, and that team of producers and stuff have just been so amazing towards me and to work with them has been, been like, a true honor. And, uh, yeah, I'm just kind of readying my album. I, I, I have it, but I'm still kind of finessing things but all the singles are done which is kind of like that's why jesus is coming out pretty soon mm -hmm. and um i know what's going to follow up and just then by the end of it i'll have caught up with the other songs and have the whole thing figured out so kind of just lying around to finish stuff which is kind of glam and Can, i like it are you the type of person that just can't leave it alone mm, yeah like, i don't know what to do myself you're are you constantly like tweaking things constantly yeah. doing something constantly on the run Always. I'm always listening to me. I always have music on. I always think something can be better in anything, which is like a, a, a curse and a blessing, you know? Right, like right, I'm right. Very, like, with my music, I'm very, like, particular, and I just want it to be right. Um, but I'm always just thinking of uh, songs. I mean, that's kind of... I'm always listening to conversations. I'm, you know, always listening to, like, watching movies, thinking about what could be a lyric, mm -hmm. watching shows, thinking about what could be a lyric, and... My brain's just always kind of trying to find inspiration. I think that's kind of like the goal of my life. Mm -hmm. So I do whatever it takes to find the inspiration. And that's a lot of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I love that for you. I feel like I'm the <laughs> same you. way. I'm constantly like always doing something because I can't yeah. sit still. Yeah. it's. A, I mean, it's it's pushing you, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's it might be a good thing. It's the uh, drive. It's the drive. It's what it's all about. Kim, I feel like I can talk to you all day. Back at you. Thank Let's you. Do this more often. Can you please? Yeah. Can you? Let's hang. You have an open Honestly. invitation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming in. How, of course. Hell yeah.